Good morning, mga mahal, my fellow gods, beloved. I am here again in this beautiful place, <laughs> nice and quiet, and very near to where I planted my alugbati and uh, sweet potato. Looks like it doesn't really grow very well here. And perhaps I will buy sweet potato or I will transfer my sweet potato by that side and put it here. Maybe I will just focus on sweet potato <laughs> rather than this alobati. But look at my purple one, the leaf is so good. Look at this that big leaf this one <laughs> anyway it is owned by the uncle government or maybe a private property so i'm just uh, using it for fun and uh, maybe i will plant malungay or moringa somewhere here so that it will grow wild and can be used for all of us many Filipinas working with that condominium <laughs> and also somewhere in that houses as well so we can hallelujah consume that when it grows very well yeah just like this pandan we can use this for our buku pandan or any delicacies that we can make and so thank you lord for this place it is so important to really plant and to consume our own from our own garden from our plants hallelujah thank you father oh we praise you lord and we glorify you oh god thank you again lord for this beautiful morning oh god thank you we magnify your Lord and we glorify your God. Hallelujah. Come mga mahal. Let's go for a walk and before reading God's word and pray over at the same time. Praising the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Father God, you are the first and the last, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. He was the first. Oh, yes. Thank you, Father. He was the last. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. He was dead, but we came to life. Yes, Lord. He was the Alpha and the Omega, who live and die, alive forevermore. Yes, Lord, you are alive forevermore. He knows our works. Yes, Lord, you know our works. Let's be in faithful. He knows our poverty, we should endure, yes, Lord, we should endure, Lord, hallelujah. He knows our tribulation, we should not fear, for no servant is greater than his master, yes, Lord, no servant is greater than his master, who has an ear. Let him hear, yes, Lord. You has an ear. Let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. He who overcome receive eternal life. And he, and he who is faithful receive the crown of life. Yes, Father. As you are faithful to you, Lord, yes, we will receive the crown of life, the crown of rejoicing, the incorruptible crown, the crown of glory. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, this morning glory. Thank you, Lord, this purple morning glory. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. I magnify you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Help us to be faithful, Lord, as you are faithful to us. God, help us to love you as you love us so much. Hallelujah. Help us to acknowledge your presence, Lord, 
and wherever we go and whatever we do thank you lord for this beautiful green heart shapes with butterflies fluttering around this side and this beautiful flowers hallelujah purple beautiful flowers lord you sustain us lord with this beautiful creation hallelujah lord you are the one who made all these things hallelujah oh we praise you lord we glorify you oh lord and we praise you lord thank you oh jesus the name above all names the owner of the universe and all that is in it yes lord you are the one who created all things hallelujah thank you father oh we praise you lord we glorify you oh god you are worthy of glory and honor and praise thank you Are receiving the crown of life, the crown of rejoicing, the incorruptible crown, the crown of glory. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah to the King of Kings, to the Lord of Lords, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Father God, this time we will pray for those who are feeling not so well Lord right now right now my brother my brother is with my beloved sister so my beloved brother and my beloved sisters are now in the doctor because my brother going to have check up and we pray Father God Jesus for a good result whatever it may be Lord Father God I release it into your mighty hands God hallelujah Jesus I pray, O oh Lord, that you will, Lord, um, take care of everything in it, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You are with them right now. God, thank you that you are our great healer and our great physician. And so, Lord, we have nothing to worry about. It is now in your mighty hands. And Lord, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, we bless you, Lord. And I look at this, it doesn't grow here very well, so just like my Moringa, uh, what is that? <laughs> a little body. So I am going to transfer this. Okay, so I pluck it off, see? I am going to put there to the other side where it grow very well there. And so, look at that. I already took it off and i'm going to bring to the other side and uh, remember what i planted here last time from my room um it didn't grow very well here because look at that people still come in through this side and uh, so so look so they go through here people still go through here so it didn't grow very well here it doesn't really matter because what can we do for that but good look at that <laughs> they are they are doing very well this these plants here and so let's go and plant this uh sweet potato leaves to that side i will focus on just sweet potato and also focus on um maybe i will go and uh, find malungai and planted that instead of uh, uh, alobati because it doesn't grow very well so see how and uh, let's just try what it grows very well here and uh, so that we can consume it i really want now to have malungai every day if i can <laughs> it seems that the moringa or malungai really have some nutrients protein also vitamins and minerals in that leaves and so i'm going to have that as well <laughs> hallelujah father god thank you and also another plant which i'm going to show you i do not know if there is flowers which it seems very very good 
come and see somewhere here because I saw that somewhere here because my sister's house I mean my employer previous employer house which my sister now working and he, she told me that she have a plant there but the color is purple color and they make it as, as tea yeah oh no more here usually here no flowers in here so doesn't no 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 don't have here anyway let's go and this is the leaves but no flower right now these are this this these are the leaves of that oh yeah there it is there is one but it's just a bud oh sorry 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 i cannot focus oh this one yes this one this one this is a very good very good flower deep blue or deep purple something like that anyway let's go hallelujah oh thank you lord for this wonderful day oh god exploring and praying praising you thanking you lord for all your blessings and protection and lord thank you so much because you're so good lord you're so wonderful you're so awesome and that you love us so much with an everlasting love lord as we who dwells in the secret place of the most high we shall abide under the shadow of the almighty we will say of the lord he is our refuge and our fortress oh god in him we will trust surely he shall deliver us from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence he shall cover us with his feathers and under his wings we shall take refuge his lord jesus oh god yes we shall take refuge in you lord as what it says in psalm 91 hallelujah lord uh, our refuge and our fortress lord in god in whom we will trust surely he shall deliver us from the snare of the fowler fowler and from the perilous pestilences this covid coronavirus dinghy lord you will deliver us those are our loved ones whom we are praying for you will deliver them father god jesus for our body is the temple of the holy spirit and so lord jesus oh god no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper hallelujah because lord you will charge your angels you will charge your angels to charge over us, Lord, and keep us in all our ways. Thank you, Father. And so I'm just going to plant this one here and this one, something like that, so that uh, it will grow here. Because look, it grows very well here. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, God, God. Yes, so good. And look at the, the one that I planted. This is, uh, oh, yeah, this is ginger. Yeah, this is ginger. Oh God, this ginger is good also for our health and so it's that it's quite doing very well this ginger ginger tea we can make ginger tea is also very nutritious and good for our health hallelujah Lord as much as we want to grow physically very well Lord we also want to um, grow spiritually and father God and so Lord it is so important to read God's word hallelujah father God Lord as you read your word help us to understand give us lord the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you O father as we continue to read your word in jesus mighty name the name above all names we pray amen and amen thank you father let's continue on reading god's word in the book of ezekiel chapter 17. mr d we read chapter 16 and now let's continue on reading chapter 17. Precious Holy Spirit, teach us as we read, Lord, refer to us, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Amen and amen. Um, it is her that, hallelujah. Father God, thank you. Oh, yes. The story, a story of two eagles. Then this message came to me from the Lord. Son of man, give this riddle and tell this story to the people in, of Israel. Give them this message from the sovereign Lord. A great eagle with broad wings and long feathers, covered with many colored pl plumage, came to Lebanon. He seized the top of a cedar tree and plucked of its high, highest branch. 
He carried it away to a city filled with merchants. He planted it in a city of traders. He also took a seedling from the land and planted it in a fertile soil. He placed it beside the broad river where it could grow like a willow tree. It took root there and grew into a low spreading vine. Its branches turned up toward the eagle and its roots grew down into the ground to it produced strong branches and put out shoots. But then other great eagle came with broad wings and full plumage. To, so the vine now sent its roots and branches toward him for water. Um, even though it was already planted in good soil and had plenty of water, so it could grow into a splendid vine and produce rich leaves and luscious fruit. So now the Sovereign Lord asks, Will this vine grow and prosper? No. I will pull it up, roots and all. I will cut, if, I will cut off its fruit and let its leaves wither and die. I will pull it up easily without a strong arm or a large army. But when the vine is transplanted, will it thrive? No, it will wither away. When the east wind blows against it, it will die in the same good soil where it had grown so well. The riddle explained. Then this message came to me from the Lord. Say to these rebels of Israel, don't you understand the meaning of this riddle of the eagles? The king of Babylon came to Jerusalem, took away her king and princes, and brought them to Babylon. He made a treaty with a member of the royal family, royal family forced him to take an oath of loyalty. He also exiled Israel's most influ influential leaders, so Israel would not become strong again and revolt. Only by keeping her treaty with Babylon could, is could Israel survive. Nevertheless, this man of Israel's royal family rebelled against Babylon, sending ambassadors to Egypt to request a great army and many horses. Can Israel break his, her sworn treaty like that and get away with it? No, for as surely as I live, says the Sovereign Lord, the king of Israel will die in Babylon, the land of the king who puts him in power and whose treaty he disregarded and broke. Pharaoh and all his mighty army will fail to help Israel when the king of Babylon lays siege to Jerusalem again and destroys many lives. For the king of Israel disregarded his treaty and broke it after swearing to obey. Therefore, he will not escape. So this is what the Sovereign Lord says. As surely as I live, I will punish him for breaking my covenant and disregarding the solemn oath he made in my name. I will throw my nets over him and capture him in my snare. I will bring him to Babylon and put him on trial for, for this treason against me. And all his best warriors will be killed in battle, and those who survive will be scattered to the four winds. Then you will know that I, the Lord, have spoken. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. I will take a branch from the top of a tall cedar, and I will plant it on the top of Israel's highest mountain. It will become a majestic cedar, sending forth its branches and producing seed. Birds of every sort will nest in it, finding a shelter in the shade of its branches, and all the trees well know that it is I, the Lord, who cuts the tall tree down and makes the short tree grow tall. It is I who makes the green tree wither and gives the dead tree new life. I, the Lord, have spoken, and I will do what I said. Amen. Indeed, Father, it is you, Lord, always you, and everything done by you, Lord. Hallelujah. And so, Father God, thank you that... Yes, Lord, it is you, Lord, also, who make the green tree wither and gives the dead tree new life. I, the Lord, have spoken. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that we have a new life in you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord Jesus, there is, there is now a new covenant with you, Father God. You have forgiven all our sins, Lord, and because of what the Lord Jesus did on the cross, 
And so we are so blessed, Father God, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. We praise you, Lord, and we glorify you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for your promised words to us, for the new covenant, Lord Jesus, oh God, that you will do, Lord, what you have promised. Father God, Jesus, another green tree, a new life, Lord, will come. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, that we have a new life in Christ as we receive you, Lord Jesus, as our personal Lord and Savior, because the Lord God, Father God, sent Jesus Christ, the only Son, the only begotten Son, for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And so, Lord, we are so, so blessed, Father God, that we have the Lord Jesus Christ who saved us from our sins. As we receive the Lord Jesus, come mga mahal, let's receive the Lord Jesus in our hearts. Lord Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for my sin. I open my heart to receive you as my personal Lord and Savior. Thank you for the forgiveness of my sins and giving me eternal life. Make me the kind of person you want me to be. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen and Amen. Thank you, Father God, my fellow God's beloved. If you pray the prayer, the Lord Jesus will come into your heart. And uh, But as many as received him, to them he will give the right to become children of God. As we receive the Lord Jesus in our hearts, we have the right to become children of God. We are so blessed to become his ch children. We are now his child. Amen. And therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away, and behold, all things have become new. And also, it is what it is saying here, Lord. Uh, the Lord God is saying here that um, it makes the, the green new weather, and then the new dead tree, the new life will come. Hallelujah. And so, Lord, we are a new creation in Christ as we receive him as our personal Lord and Savior. And we are... Uh, Hallelujah, we are now his children and we will walk with him, righteousness in him, in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, mga mahal, for reading God's love letter with me. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And always remember that Jesus loves you. Goodbye. God bless and take care. Let's read again tomorrow. Bye.